This is Kitty Cracciolo, and I'm here today to show you how I do flower shaping. For this project, I'm using the Rubbernecker Organic Shapeable Daisy Set, and I've colored the flower petals using the new uh, Rubbernecker Color Fuse inks. I started by um, cutting out four sets of the flowers, and I'm applying the inks um, to the flowers using uh, a mini applicator. I cover the total front of each flower section uh, with the inks and fill that in. And then I um, turn the uh, flowers face down and I just put ink right around the edges so that later on when I form these petals, you don't see any of the white cardstock showing through. Uh, these inks go on, uh, they look a little splotchy when they're wet, but when they dry, they fill into a perfectly uh, even uh, layer of ink. Uh, you can see the flowers up in the top corner, how pretty they look. Uh, I'm using uh, my needle nose pliers to shape the petals. I'm sorry that a little of this is off of the screen. Um, this is my first attempt using my new iPhone to take a video and um, hopefully the next video I do, I'll do quite a bit better. I did think that you could see enough here that you got the idea of how I formed the petals. Um, each uh, petal, uh, one side was turned forward and the other side was curled backwards. Um, this way, as the flower gets built, it creates dimension. Uh, the petals are uh, formed uh, very pretty, and it uh, creates a really nice dimensional flower. Um, I have started putting the flower together here. Uh, I'm using glossy accents. Again, my hands are a little off screen. Uh, here in a minute, you can see better. Uh, I would be uh, helpless without having a paper piercer. I use it to hold uh, parts and pieces together when I'm uh, building my scenes or flowers. Uh, glossy accents is my glue of choice. I live here in Orlando, Florida where we have a lot of humidity and the glossy accents is a really strong holding adhesive. Uh, a lot of times I use a stylus and molding pad to form my flowers, but for this particular flower, just bending the uh, petals up with my fingers was enough. And um, I formed each section uh, of flower, just like I was building one flower and then setting them one on top of the other until I had the full uh, four layered uh, layers of flowers. The next thing I did was uh, form the um, little flower centers that you see up on the top left hand of the uh, screen. Um, unfortunately, my uh, molding pad was too far off uh, the camera view, so I've kind of sped through that part and I'm showing you that I am using a pair of reverse tweezers and the glossy accents to attach these flower centers um, into the center of my flower. I did all four uh, little teeny flower centers so that it would look fluffy and make a really natural looking flower. If you don't have a pair of reverse tweezers, you're going to want to get a pair. Uh, to me, they're like having a third hand. I hope you've enjoyed seeing um, this project and that you're encouraged to get your flower die sets out and try your hand at making a beautiful dimensional flower like this.